to go denied entry into the UK because I'm a social media influencer. And yeah, I've been held captive by the police. What the heck and welcome back to another video with me. This video is quite different because guys, I got kicked out of the UK. I didn't get allowed in to the UK and I got put in a holding cell for six hours. So let's get into this. Woo. Dear Jordan, you have stated that you are, you are visiting the UK to attend an arranged tour with a UK based company who will provide you with accommodation in receipt for your freelance professional photography and social media advertising. However, in this view of the fact that the UK based company is funding your accommodation, this relates to payment of kind activity. Visitors are not allowed to receive payment in these circumstances. I therefore am not satisfied with you as a genuine visitor. I refuse you to leave under the paragraph something via appendix via blah, blah, immigration. I have given directions to the French authorities to remove you from the control zone. And that was the moment when the French police busted me down in the door. Come and gra they didn't grab me. They just escorted me into their car. And we went five minutes down the road and they dropped me off in a random car park. <laughs> Let me explain. So I'm, I'm in Paris and I'm going to, to London. I get on a bus, five hours onto the bus, you get to the board of security, check. And this time, just like every other time, I walk up there with my passport and I usually just stamp and go through. I'm an Australian citizen, it's pretty easy to enter the UK with an Aussie citizenship. I've been to the UK three times in the last three months, so I can understand the guy he started asking me questions. And he found out that I'm a freelancer. He didn't like the fact that I was working on my laptop in the UK potentially. So he decided to put me in a holding zone and I thought, you know what, 20 minutes. Two hours go by, three hours go by, four hours go by. Five hours later in this freaking dingy little room, there's literally no windows in this place. It's this flickering fluorescent light, just like the movies. They took away my phone, took away my bags. I'm in this room for five hours, I'm dying. They come in, they come to question me. So I go into an interrogation room. This girl starts asking me questions. She found out that yes, I'm a social media influencer and all this sort of thing. And she goes, how many followers are you having on social media? How many YouTube followers, blah, blah, blah. She starts asking me all these details. I have a flight out of Europe and I have a bank statement showing her that I have enough money to fund myself for my week whilst I'm in the UK. Let's just note that I was in the UK one week before this with no issues. Anyway, at the end of this, she pulls up this video from five months ago on my YouTube where I jokingly say, if I don't work with brands in 2018, I'm going to have zero money. But I haven't made that much money at all. I need to start making some damn money because I'm running out so hardcore. So this year, 2018, make it or break it, Jordan, because if you don't make any money this year, your bank will be... Zero. <laughs> so she pulls this up and she says, George, she says, I saw this video five from you five months ago saying that you don't have any money. But now you're showing me your bank and you do have money. This story doesn't line up. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, what's even happening right now? <laughs> anyway, so basically the UK Im immigration have denied me entry because they think that free accommodation is the same as earning money in another country. And... Yeah, because I'm getting free accommodation here in the UK. They just think that that is the same as me getting a, a fat paycheck, which is like <laughs> totally not the same thing. Anyway, I was in this cell for six hours. As any social influencer would do, I've logged it. So let's sit back, let's enjoy, and we'll go from there. So I've just been denied entry to... Stop, stop, stop. It's okay? No, okay? Stop. Well, this is the first vlog from my, my cell dorm. <laughs> I just got denied entry into the UK because I'm a social media influencer. And yeah, I've been held captive by the police. <laughs> I've, I've been in another room for five hours. They've just given me back my phone. And now I'm in this police cell. And that's where we're at right now. I probably can't film. I probably shouldn't be filming, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'll update you guys later. Au revoir. So they just opened this gate, dropped me off outside the gate and said, see ya, after putting me in a cell for six hours, here's all my backpacker stuff. 
It's 10 o'clock at night, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and yeah, I don't know what to do. The police told me that the reason my visa, the reason they denied me is because they have a suspicion that I am trying to live in London, in England, which we all know, if you know anything about me, London, England is the last place I want to live. But yeah, so now I'm just walking around trying to figure out what to do. And I try to hitchhike. Alright, I've been walking around for an hour now. Walking around for an hour and I'm in this town. Everything is booked. I've been to so many hotels, so many... I can't, every, everything's booked. It's midnight. So I think the park, dare I say it, is looking like the option, the only option right now. I was gonna go sleep in a park, but I found a bus back to Paris, leaves at 2 a.m. It's a half an hour walk away, so I'm gonna walk there, catch the bus back to Paris. And the more I think about it, the more dumb it is. I'm just so sick of it at this point, like, I'm so overtired. If I wanna promote a company when I'm in the country, I should be able to promote a company. I shouldn't have to, if a company's gonna give me a free meal, I'm gonna give them a shout out. Like, well, I don't really see how that is illegal. Coke is giving me the energy to get through the night, so shout out to them. Oh wait, probably shouldn't give them a shout out because, because it might be illegal, so, I'm not shouting out Coke right now. Just so you guys know, this Coke wasn't free. I bought this Coke. Um, if it was free Coke, I'm technically working illegally in France right now. So, just letting you know that it's not free. I bought it, it costs like a euro. I, I don't have the receipt though. The bus terminal was so much further than I thought. Been absolutely sprinting. Just ran like three kilometers with all my stuff. I'm gonna get this bus. Ran to the bus terminal, I think I'm here. Eating probably the filthiest burrito I've ever eaten in my life. But nothing else is open at 2 a.m. Oh. This is really turning into one heck of an adventure. So that didn't work. They got angry that I showed up. I'm now here on this bench until 6 a.m. where they're gonna accept my immigration. I don't know, like they're gonna give me another shot at immigration. We'll see how it goes. Good night for now. This stage of the vlog, I found out that I was close to a ferry port so I decided to just sit down, chill, and in two hours, I would try my luck again with immigration going, instead of going via the bus immigration, I'm gonna go by the ferry port immigration. So at this different port, two hours later, I'm with a different lady at a different desk. She looks at me, she goes, oh yeah, whatever, this is all good. She even sees that I have a passport cross saying immigration denied on the 30th of June, the day before. She goes, ah, oh, yeah, all good, stamps me, I get on the ferry, and two days later, I'm here making this video in the UK. I just got through, holy, holy heck, what the heck. Oh my gosh, this has been the hell of my life. And I just went in again in the morning at a different port, and she just stamped me through. What the heck. I've aged like at least 20 years, <laughs> but I'm on the boat. And, after 36 hours of travel, I'm in London. It takes two hours to get from Paris to London by train. It took me 36 hours to get from Paris to London. Oh, but I'm here, I'm in London. I've never been so happy to be in London. Oh my God. What the flip. Things that sucked about this is that they told me that it would be as fast as possible. There was literally one other person 
that they needed to see in this time, and it took me took them six hours to deal with me. Six hours. They took my fingerprints, everything, like, and they just like sort of talked down to me, like I was a criminal. And it was just honestly, it was so silly. At, at one stage, the immigration officer told me, "Well, we'd all do what you could, what you do if we could, but we can't because it's illegal." I just kept on telling them, "It's not illegal. It's not illegal. It's not illegal." But they had no content. They were not even listening. I was like talking to a brick wall. And the fact that she went five months back into my YouTube to find me talking about my financials just so she can use my financials against me in the interrogation room to make me look like I was lying. That is next level stuff. Anyway, super random story, but I guess some people don't like social media influencers and they just don't understand what we even do. But yeah, 36 hours of travel later, I finally got to the UK and never been so happy to be here. Super random story, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. Let me know your thoughts on the topic below. Uh, maybe I am in the wrong, maybe I'm in the right. But at the end of the day, I went literally to another port the next day and I got let in. So either they're in the wrong on the first day or the immigration is just kind of like messed up because you deny someone one day, let them in the next. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. What the heck? Goodbye.